I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a secret. The best software developers are the ones that fail the most. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Now, what was I talking about in the intro where I talked about how the best developers are the ones that fail the most? That seems really counterintuitive. You'd think the developers that never fail are obviously going to be the best, but this is actually wrong. The reason is, is because as a programmer, your job is to try to develop new and interesting solutions to problems that haven't been solved. Essentially, the company's like, hey, we want to build this cool thing, go build it. I don't know how you're going to build it. You don't know how you're going to build it. Your job is to figure out how to build it. Because once you actually learn how to write code, the hard part of programming no longer becomes the code that you're writing and instead becomes how do you solve the problem that you need to solve with the code that you know how to write. So developers that never fail are essentially solving problems that are easy for them because they don't ever encounter difficulties and they're just constantly doing things they know how to do over and over and over again. It's no different than someone that does data entry all day long. They're not improving their skills because all they're doing is copying data from one place to another all day long and they're doing the same thing every single day. So of course they're not going to make very many mistakes. A developer though that is challenging themselves to solve new and difficult problems constantly is going to run into errors, mistakes, and failures daily, if not every hour, if not even every single minute. Honestly, when I'm writing out code, if I write out a bunch of code and the very first time I run it and I don't get a single error or a single warning, I assume that I did something wrong because I always make mistakes, whether it's just forgetting to put a comma in a place, forgetting to put a semicolon, or just typing something in wrong. I always make mistakes. So if I don't see an error or see a mistake when I finish code, I assume that I thought of something incorrectly and I assume that my code is doing something that I don't expect it to. And honestly, when I don't see those mistakes, I get more worried than when I see an error message because at least with an error message, I know what the problem is. When I don't see any error message, I start to wonder, holy crap, what did I do wrong because nothing's showing up wrong, but I know in the back of my mind, I probably messed up. And that doesn't mean I'm a bad developer, at least I hope not. It just means that it's very easy to make mistakes when writing code. We're humans, very easy to type something in wrong, make a wrong assumption, make a wrong solution to a problem. This is normal. So to expect yourself to never make a mistake is just completely unrealistic. And unfortunately, this fear of failure and fear of making mistakes holds a lot of people back from being the best developer they can because they fear when they see those errors in the console, they think they did something wrong. They think they are not a good enough developer. When in reality, these are just helpful messages to point you in the right direction to help you make your code correct because everybody makes mistakes. I do it, you do it, we all do it. And when you see those error messages, it doesn't mean you're a bad programmer. Also, people, when they can't think of the solution to a problem, some people just think, you know what, I'm not smart enough to think of this or I'm not good enough or I can't be a programmer. But again, that couldn't be any more wrong. Your job as a programmer is to solve problems that haven't been solved. People are like, build this thing, and then you need to figure out how to build it. So of course, in that process of figuring things out, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to come up with wrong solutions, and you're going to struggle to find a right solution. When in reality, there's no one right solution. There's probably a million solutions to the same problem, but it's just up to you to find the one that works the best. And that is what being a programmer is all about. So if you end up stumbling upon the wrong solution, where you end up writing code that doesn't work, that's just you working through and trying to get to the point where you're writing the correct or right code. I generally tell people that my job is to fail a thousand times until I finally get something right. And that's because usually when I'm thinking of a solution to a problem, I write out a little bit of code that I think will solve the problem. I save the file and I see that I have some errors. I solve the errors, have some more errors, solve those errors, have some more errors, solve those errors, and finally, I don't get any more red errors showing up. So then I'm like, okay, now I need to test my code. I test my code and I realize I did something wrong. Fix it, test it, I got something else wrong. Fix it, oh, now I have a new error, fix that. Now I go back and test my code and I have this repeat process happening all the time. And hundreds and hundreds of iterations later, I may have part of the code working and I start using the code and then I realize, you know what? I used the wrong solution. Like this is not the right solution. It just doesn't quite work like I want it to. So I have to scratch everything and go back from the complete beginning and restart from the beginning with tons of errors, tons of mistakes with a new solution. This is a normal process of programming. If every person just got the solution right the first time, there wouldn't be nearly as much need for developers because you, know, you could just give one person the task of creating Facebook. They'd sit down for a week and they'd build it and you're done. That's just not how code works. 
If you have this fear of failure where when you sit down to start writing a program, you're worried you're going to make the wrong choices, you're worried that you're going to see a syntax error or a mistake when you're coding, or you just think, I don't know what the solution is, don't fear that. This is perfectly normal, and that's what programming is all about. It's all about trying to find new solutions and really trying to persevere through difficulties, through failures, and come out on the other end with a cool solution that works for what you need. And I don't want that to discourage you. A lot of people, when they see these red error messages pop up, they take it as a failure. And when we're in school, we're taught that failure is the worst thing you could possibly do. It's going to be the end of the world for you. So you see those red error messages, you equate them to failure, and you equate them to just the end of the world. When in reality, failure is just a stepping stone in the path to success. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other discussion-based videos. I'll have them linked over here. And subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.